So even though I cleared all the extreme SBR stages last week, I realized that I actually didn't do a dedicated showcase for this kid with his Extreme Z Awakening. So in today's video, we're going to quickly do that. But before we jump in, I do want to give you guys his details. So for anybody that already knows what he does, feel free to skip ahead like 30 minutes or so. Or sorry, uh, 30 seconds to a minute and we'll get into his gameplay. Okay, so starting with the leader skill. He's all types, Q plus 3, HP, attack, and defense, plus 120%. He is one of the best rainbow leaders in the game right now. His 12 key super does colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And his 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage. And then after that, his passive gives him key plus 2, attack and defense, plus 77% at the start of the turn. And then key plus 7, plus an additional attack, plus 58% and disables enemy's guard when HP is 58% or less, and then reduces damage received by 58% when there's an ally whose name includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded. Uh, wait, hold on. What's the last part? Attacking in the same turn. Okay, so there you go. As long as you have a Goku in the same turn, then you should be getting 58% damage reduction, which is massive. Alright, from there we have All in the Family, Z Fighter, Saiyan Warrior Ray, Saiyan Lineage, Innocence, Berserker, and Legendary Power as his links. And his categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Youth, and Bond of Master and Disciple. So there you go, that is the Kid Goku, or sorry, Gohan. Why well, am I getting everything mixed up today? Kid Gohan. And of course his stats stayed exactly the same as they were before the EZA. So let's jump into the showcase here. We got him on rotation with the support Gohan as well as LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he has 109,000 defense to start, which is actually not bad at all. It is a good number, nothing too impressive, but still good. The main thing though, is that even though he doesn't have a ton of defense right now, he's getting a ton of damage reduction, so it doesn't even matter, honestly, like if his defense isn't the most impressive. Like some units start off with like 130k, 150, with a, especially with a 50% support like this, right? But even though his defense is only 109k, which like I said, is not bad, it's the damage reduction that really makes him. So first attack here, 2.5 million for the super. That's really good. That's really, really good. Damage reduction, of course, kicking in, only taking 91 damage from that normal attack. Um, his tanking is very impressive, guys. If you missed my um super fizz extreme super battle run from a couple days ago make sure to go check it out because i did use the kid and uh, also had the uh fizz super saiyan goku stun coup as some people like to call him and they worked really well but this kid's tanking was off the charts uh literally the mvp of that run so i know his tanking is very impressive but i haven't taken him into the legendary goku event yet so I'm not really sure what to expect for some of the later stages, maybe when we get to like Super Saiyan Blue Goku, uh, especially STR UI Goku and MUI Goku. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if he actually you know, holds up in those scenarios. I think he will. I do think he will. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so here's a full 24 key super. And I kind of want to save these orbs, but uh, you know what, let's just give him a few orbs. And what's his defense at? 109,000 again. Attack currently 341,000. Let's take a super. No, oh, okay, 65. And 2.5 million again. So as you can see, his damage is actually good, but it's not the craziest thing we've seen, right? Especially because these days we're pretty spoiled with big numbers. So uh, I think for most people, if you don't see at least like 3 million maybe even 4 million, you know, with a full 24k super, uh, they're not going to be that impressed by it. But you got to keep in mind, this kid is free to play, all right? He is obtainable without doing summons. I mean, okay, it, it's a, there's, it, there's a little bit of a controversy, I think, about this kid. Like other LRs that are obtainable through these kinds of events, like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, and uh, Battlefield as well. Because some people like to argue that even though you don't summon for them, the events are still not for, you know, newer players, and because of that, um, they're, they're not technically, like, free-to-play outlaws, because they're for, like, end-game players who have, like, really good units and all that stuff, and I, I can get that, 
I can kind of see it from that perspective, but honestly, to me, I think they're still considered free-to-play units just because they're not summonable, you know what I mean? So, uh, we're gonna have that debate on a different day, I guess, for a different video, but yeah. For a free-to-play unit, for a free-to-play LR, he is very, very impressive, guys. Okay, I'm gonna sandwich him in between these two Gokus, or so the Goku and the Goku. Actually, does it matter? I don't think, I don't think it does, actually. Um, links wise, he's getting the same amount of links, so he's not getting anything extra from the Gohan. Okay, so why don't we just put him there? That's gonna be 24 key again. We have to double support this time 123,000 defense. Alright, up from 109,000 before. And this should finish off the uh, opponent Goku, the Super Saiyan Goku. Okay, so we took 109 damage there. Attack went up to 3.7 million. Alright, so with the double support, damage, much better. Of course, the extra links help too. And keep in mind, he is only at level 1 links, okay? You guys saw that in the beginning. No leveled up links yet. I haven't really used the kid too much overall. And, uh, you know, he's going to be definitely even better with maxed out links with some potential orbs. Or not potential orbs. Uh, what are they called again? Uh... Man, how did I... Skill orbs. Skill orbs, yeah. If with some skill orbs as well, he's going to be even more impressive. But even right now, with at his like, base rainbow level, I guess. Like back then, it's, it's kind of weird to say now, because back in the day, rainbow was like the maximum, right? But now you can give uh, skill orbs, you can give uh, or, or farm their link levels and all that stuff. So this is kind of like just like the bare minimum for his rainbow status. And he's putting up some very impressive numbers. Uh, offensively, good damage, but defensively, even more so, super impressive because, you know, he's getting a huge amount of damage reduction. Um, are we below 58% here? Hold on. Um, no, we're at like 60-ish, right? Oh, oh, actually we should be below 58 now. We should be below 58 now. Alright, let's do this. Um, yeah, so we got the additional 7 key. And we're also getting 58 additional, 58% um, additional attack too, right? Yes, we are. And we're disabling the enemy's guard. So a lot of good stuff happening here. Let's, uh, can we give him a better super? I don't think so, actually. This might be the best super I can give him. So let's give him those three orbs um, and see what happens. Okay, so defense is under 100,000, which obviously is not like that great, but we still have damage reduction, so it doesn't really matter. 80 damage there. 3.57 with the one support this time. It's gonna be fun to see what happens once we get the uh, Fizz support Gohan on a rotation too. I'm expecting obviously easily over four, maybe 4.5. We'll have to see what happens. So let's try to get that going as quickly as possible here. Uh, I'm gonna put the, hmm, okay, so let's try to save yeah, Conserve all these orbs, as many as we can. That's good. I'm actually kind of scared that a super might kill us here. If the Gohan takes a super attack, will we die? I don't think so. But that's always a concern with these showcases, is like, I know the guy I'm trying to showcase right now is fine, but the other people on this team might uh, actually hold us back a little bit, so hopefully we don't die here. I don't think we will. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage though for normals. Crazy. Okay, uh, here's a double support rotation. That's going to be a full 24k super. Our defense is now... 126,000, yeah, 126, and yeah, this should do it, this should do it, let's see, it should be over 4 million here, easily, but like, how much over 4 million is the question, 4.6, 4.6, okay, so we should be close to 5 million if we had the Fizz, um, you know, 50% support Kohan here, that was really good, holy crap, 4.6 million, but this kid Gohan, with so much damage reduction, so much tanking ability. Um, just so impressive overall, man. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something here because it just doesn't seem safe. So, uh, should I pop a... I'm, I'm gonna pop a Princess Snake. Unfortunately, we are gonna go above 50% HP. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna be Dokken attacking anyways. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to get that, like, dream rotation I wanted. But it's better than dying, I guess, before we actually get to see his full potential. 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna do the silk attack here. And hopefully come back around again. Or below 58% HP and have, you know, the two, uh, you know, best supports for him on rotation. So I brought the Int LR Goku from Super Battle Road for the linking purposes. And then uh, I brought the, of course, Fizz Gohan, the 50% support for that big support. And I'm trying to get all three of them on ro one rotation when we're below 50% HP or 58%. So we can kind of see his like max damage, right? But you guys can pretty much imagine, even if we don't get that here today, which I think we can, but just in case something happens and we don't get that, um, we can pretty much imagine, you know, what would happen, right? He'll be below, he should be over 5 million attack. Um, his tanking should still be just as impressive as long as we have a Goku, and that's what I love about his condition, right? That 58% is just always going to be there if you're running Goku's family or um, what, what other categories is he on? <laughs> Hold on, let me check. Um, youth? You could, you could get going with youth if you bring like a kid Goku. Uh, Hyper Saiyan's obviously not an option unless you're running a Hyper Saiyan slash Pure Saiyan's team with the LR God coup. And uh, Bond of Master and Disciple, um, we got a couple of Gokus in there, so yeah, you can you can get that going too. But as, if you're running like Goku's family like this, uh, easily, easily you can get the you can get the uh, damage reduction every single turn. And he is just not taking damage here, man. He's just it's just he's just not 123,000 defense solid but then you couple that with 58 percent damage reduction and he is pretty much impenetrable but like i said i haven't used him here yet so i'm not really sure if like things will be different once we get to a god coup here so far not really yeah okay so double digits for all the normals and uh super saiyan blue goku strui goku i'm especially curious about and of course the int mui goku so let's see this kid can do once we get there to some of the harder hitting enemies uh, in the game actually uh okay here we go here we go so let's try to take some damage let's try to take some damage it, it, it's a delicate balance though it, it's definitely a delicate balance because i don't want to die yeah i don't want to die here but i also don't want to kill him too quickly so maybe okay, maybe i just I don't know, because the, the, the LR Super Saiyan 4 is probably still going to kill God Ku. I just hope that we actually take a lot of damage on the Tech Super Saiyan 4. That's some decent damage right there. Okay, still not enough though to get the, you know, additional boost for, for Gohan. Um, Maybe don't crit this time. Of course he's going to crit. Alright, alright, you know. Things don't go always don't don't always go the way you want them to, as I said. Uh, let's see here. So let's put the kid Gohan in the middle. Okay, I'll give these to the LR Super Battle Road Goku, and that's still a 18k super, 99k defense, and we'll just give one ATL orb to Super Saiyan 4. All right, so now we're getting into the territory of some of the more difficult enemies here. And I'm getting a little bit more concerned. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I think he's still going to be okay. Alright, I think his damage reduction is still very much going to hold up. But let's see. Let's take a super here. Because I'm very curious. Alright. So 9 damage. 30. Here's the super. Hopefully under 10,000. Oh, you know what, Ashley? I forgot we... Wait, we, we used the Icarus. No, we didn't use an Icarus. We didn't, we didn't use an Icarus. No. No, there was no, there was no item active, right? No, I used the Princess Snake, right? So yeah, there was no damage reduction active. So that was just him. That was just him doing his tanking, right? After supering, getting uh, greatly raising defense, and then also having, of course, the damage reduction, having... Uh, the boost, the support from the Goku. Um, yeah, that was really impressive, actually. Damn. All right. Okay. I, I like what I'm seeing so far. All right, so on this turn, I'm not going to use any items. Um, it's a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie, man. It's a little bit scary because, 
these guys are gonna take a lot of damage uh super saiyan 4 should be okay after we super here yeah but um the gohan's gonna take a good amount of damage and the tech super saiyan 4 even though he has type advantage is still gonna get hit pretty hard um let's see what happens let's see what happens i actually don't use this unit at all i can't remember the last time i used full power super saiyan 4 um but yeah he's still like damage wise still quite impressive it's just his tanking is very lackluster as you can see all right so as long as we don't take a super here i think we'll be okay <laughs> we might take a super we did not perfect perfect all right um so we're getting that additional boost here and defense is 126,000. let's give these to him that's going to be a 24k super and I'll give these to him. Oh man, actually, I don't know. Okay, this might be the last turn. This actually might be the last turn because the Gohan might get us killed. The, the one at the end, the support one. Because um, there's a lot of attacks there, you guys saw. There's like five attacks. So unless Gohan... Ooh, yeah, I was going to say, unless Gohan clutches this and gets us through, I think this might be it, guys. I think this might be it. Oh, please dodge, Goku. Dodge this. Thank you. We might survive. Yo. We might survive. Let's see uh, how much damage each of these hits are going to do. Okay. We can survive two more. Wow. Wow. Okay. That was actually really impressive, guys. That was actually really impressive. All right. So I'm going to pop Mr. Snake. And uh, we should be good to go. We should be good to go. Um, let me think. What should we do here? So I'll I'll give him this, and then I'll give him that, and then we'll get a super off with this Goku too. Uh, will we be below? Yeah, we won't be below 58%. So once again, we're not gonna get that dream rotation here, right? Below 58% with the best supports we can have. Um. But it's still okay. It's still okay. We'll still move on to the STR UI Goku. We'll still get to see what kind of tanking we can do against him. Uh, for this unit, honestly, uh, I, I'm more impressed by his tanking than his damage reduction. Or, sorry, than his uh, damage output. So even though he can, you know, put out some pretty impressive damage, um, it's really the tanking I want to test here. So no big deal here. Ooh, look at that. Look at all those attacks at the end. Um, hmm, what if one of the attacks in the beginning is a super? That's what I'm worried about here. Uh, this one's tricky. It's a tricky, tricky turn. Okay, so I'll give him these. I'll give these to Goku. I'm just praying that one of the attacks at the end is the super. So we can kind of test what we can do there. All right, okay, so we're taking 81k there. Still alive though, staying alive, staying alive. That's all that matters. And hopefully if we get a super in the middle, no, there's no super there, perfect. Okay, so now, now we can test, all right, how well you'll take these attacks from STRUI. 43, 78, 28, I'm on super me. 54, 71, 11. We did not get super that turn. Why? Yo, of all times, I don't want this guy to super me. He's got a super. He's got to not super me when I really want him to super. All right. Uh, I don't. I don't want to use any of these items though. It's, it's tricky. All right. Well, guys, you know. <laughs> I think that's gonna be it. I'm, I'll, I'll, pop, I'll pop an Android 8, I guess, just like so we don't have damage reduction next turn, but we will have extra defense. So it's still not gonna be too representative of what he can do. But as you can see, man, um, for normal attacks against STR UI Goku, he's taking double digit damage. Double digits. When this dude is hitting Tech Super Saiyan 4 for 53k. All right, 53k, the difference there. He's, he's literally taking a thousand times less damage than Tech Super Saiyan 4. So that, that should tell you something. That should show you something. 
And of course, with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he got his super off, so he massively raised the defense. That's why his defense is so high right now. Uh, but he also has type advantage too, so there's it's a combination of things here. Um, you know what, guys? That's gonna be the showcase. I, I, I did want the kid Gohan to take a take a super, but I don't think it's gonna happen here. We already have gone on for long enough, so I'm sure you guys are, you know, done with this video. Uh, oh crap! Hold on, let me see if I can restore my restore my gameplay here. Sometimes the connection with this Elgato is like very very spotty, so. I'm not really sure if we can get it back before I end this video. Maybe I just have to end it like this. Man, I don't want to though. Give me a second, give me a second. I can figure this out. I can figure this out. Come on. Work with me here. Work with me. There it is. Okay, we figured it out and we're about to die. So, uh, whoa. Whoa. How did, I, how did I not die there? <laughs> I swear I was gonna die. All right, well, let's let Gohan do his thing here. There we go. And uh, once uh, this assertion is over, the video should also be over. But in the meantime, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. That was some really impressive tanking, by the way, without any support on rotation. And uh, until next time, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.